Okay, this is the 1983 Gunslinger. It's UK made. It's a test of skill where the player stands here behind the gun stand and shoots at the guy. The doors open up when the game starts. Uh, normally there's a mask on his face. I have it removed kind of for a Westwood type mechanical robot look. His jaw moves up and down when he talks and it's just a lot easier to see it and I think more interesting. Basically you're aiming right there, that's a photo cell that's on his body. Everything is run pneumatically, that is use a compressor, which I have back here, it's just a little Craftsman compressor, less than $100. Going through this line right to a quick disconnect there. I think I have it at about 40 pounds per square inch. It's not a lot of pressure. Um, the one thing that does go bad are the lines. The red lines are the original lines. All the clear lines are ones that I've replaced. Like you can buy the tubing, here's a little extra piece. That's the one thing that, that goes bad on this game a fair amount. The other thing is on the gun stand, there can be some problems. Um, you can see the game is ready. We're in game over mode and it does give you a score on how fast you shoot, which is nice because this game was a copy of uh, uh, gunslingers that were made in the 1960s and you didn't really get a score. If you look in here, there's a little uh, tape, cassette tape, and a circuit board. And then down here, there's more boards, like the power supply. Okay, now we're going to play a game. And I have a free play set up there. Or if there's credits, you can just press this button. Either way. Now. I should state that when you turn the game on, its boot up process goes through this tape. So depending where the thing was shut off, like it was shut off in the middle of the game, what it does is it rotates through the tape to find the beginning of the tape. So when you turn it on, you'll see the guy, his mouth will be moving up and down. You won't hear anything and the doors won't open. The game is not ready to play until he stops doing that. That is part of the boot up process. Again, it's trying to find the beginning of that tape because it doesn't know where it was shut off if it was shut off in the middle of, of a game. So anyways, uh, I'll press this button if there's credits and we'll try a game. Nope, no credits. So then I'll press this one to add a credit. And you can see. Hey, Rick, you're the fast dog. How do you have three eyes and not be able to see? Because I'm just about the guy to do it. Put the gun in a holster. When I say draw, draw. Okay, dude. Draw. I got a hit. You see it's hit. Okay. Up the you can kill the fella that way. And his head falls okay, down. Okay, smart ass. Have another go. You get three shots. Draw. I will miss. See, there's my miss. God done. You want even close. Okay, dude, have another go. Here we go. Last shot. Draw. Got him. Well, you're no judge. Move on out, you squad cowboy. This time I'm picking up from both of us. And then it's going to close the doors. Just give it a second. There it goes. You can hear the pneumatics. It's pretty cool. It's a really neat game. Um, it's hard to find one that's actually working. Uh, also, I should mention that for shipping, this hood is just gravity fed on there. It's just held in by gravity. There's a connector back there, so this hood comes off uh, when you move it. I have this part on wheels, so I can move the thing around easily. And then in the back, you, you need to supply your own compressor. That's the one I'm using. Sometimes you can find a small one that'll fit in that crevice, but I've just been using this little Craftsman one. But anyways, that's the game. Um, hope you enjoy the video.